As you know, this week we're on the road in St. Charles wine country, but that area has even more to offer than what you'll find at the vineyards. Paige Halsey takes us to a new destination for artists and art lovers. Klondike Park is one of the more well-known parks in St. Charles County. And if you've been here, you've probably noticed this big white building. But what you might not know is inside there is another incredible space. This is one of my pieces and I call it out my bedroom window. Terry Moore is a local artist and one of the directors here at the Creative at Klondike, a programming arm of the Four Rivers Arts Council. It started with a dream. Uh, we wanted to do something to celebrate the artists in this area because there are so many fabulous artists here. And so we knew we needed a space. We needed a brick and mortar. Now, regional art fills this front room. We have drawings, paintings, sculptures, and then we have glass blowing from Sam Stang. But they also have big plans for the rest of the building. This space in the middle with this mm -hmm. stunning view. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you have in mind it's amazing, for this. It? it is. I love yeah. this window. Right. The light right. is incredible. This will be an interchanging, um, rotating gallery. We will put out calls for entry for shows that we develop. This space will house work that comes into the area. So part of it is showcasing regional artists, but also introducing work from outside of the region as inspiration. There's also room for corporate retreats, resident artists, and artists in residence, and other community programming. We teach classes in um, art appreciation, as well as ceramics, drawing, um, wonderful fiber artists from this area. I've got a jewelry maker coming in in the middle of the summer. She's going to teach us how to make jewelry. This is all possible thanks to a partnership with St. Charles County Parks, which allows the creative to use this space and in return asks for help with this. This is a, a camp store that we are providing goods for campers. Uh, the tent campers or the cabin campers, anything they happen to forget or just a fun outing for their day. And this is really one of the examples of the collaboration with the parks. Absolutely. The park itself also provides inspiration. It's amazing. The, the building itself, the, the park is just everything an artist could wish for. You go up there and it's just you look out at the beautiful view and it just feels good. It makes you want to create. Kimberly Alsop also uses this space to create. What do you love about art? Everything. Expressing, uh, just, it's just, it's just freedom. Now, more Alsop and fellow director Mary Kaiser, all volunteers by the way, want this to be accessible to everyone. We just want people to come and enjoy the space as a community space. In St. Charles County, I'm Paige Holsey for News 4 Great Day. That's a cool place. The Creative at Klondike is open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from 9 in the morning to 4 in the afternoon, which means you could swing by after you join us for our live show that's coming up at Sunflower Hill Farm. Breakfast is at 8 o'clock. Our show starts at 9. We would love to have you come out and join us, but if not, be sure and watch. That's coming up Friday, just a couple days away. We're so excited. Isn't this one of our favorite on the road shows? I mean, I'm, it's one of my favorite days to go out mm -hmm. there and just hang out. That's uh, beautiful out there. Oh, we are excited. Looking forward to it. Pumped to see all there, St. Louis. Kent and Paige, thank you.